welcome to Beacon Studio. I don't know how many of these videos I am going to do. It's the first one, and really I just wanted to be a bit of a diary of an artist's life, really. I've been painting now full time for about seven years. Well, the first few years were quite difficult because I was um, really quite poorly um, with ME, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. I have improved greatly since then. Um, and I'm able to, to work most days, although I do still need lots of rest and I do have considerable symptoms, but I can manage them myself. It's not earning me the same amount as when I was working full time, not yet, hopefully soon. Um, but I am, I am earning a small living from this now, which is brilliant. And um, we built this studio out of a, a shed by Power Sheds. It's a 14 foot by eight foot shed. But I insulated and lined with the help of family and it's been absolutely brilliant. I've been in here since January 2021, it's now August 21 and it's just been perfect because I'm able to have all my stuff out, I have to keep packing it away because it's in the house. So I really wanted these videos to just kind of document what life is like as an artist really and um, it's going to be an open and honest kind of series of videos. You'll see good days, you'll probably see bad days. And um, you'll see when things go well and when things go wrong. But that's that's life, really. And I just want to show you some of the creative process behind it and also what it's like to, to live this sort of lifestyle. But like I say, hopefully over the course of however many videos I'll do, this might be the only one. We'll see what the response is. But over the course of the next few months or so, um, hopefully I will start to sell a few more paintings. Um, now that picture on the easel at the back there has been sold, which is great. Um, and it's sold from an exhibition I did in Norwich. The pandemic hit about three months after we'd started to hang the um, exhibition. And um, the venue, which happened to be a restaurant and wine bar, had to shut. And it didn't really reopen properly until a few months ago which means that my pictures have been hanging in the basement of this restaurant for the best part of a year and nobody's seen them. Um, I did, I made 29 paintings for it, had them all framed. Uh, I don't make the frames myself, but I order them in and then I prep everything and put the paintings inside. So for example, this little painting here, uh, 20 centimeters square, and it's called, We Wonder What Might Be, and just here is all there is, number two, and it is acrylics on a canvas board. And it's in this nice 85 millimeter stepped frame. I'll show you that. And then I mask, I, it came in as white because at the time I couldn't get a gray molding. Um, now you can buy the molding um, straight from the from the companies and um, I masked it off and then painted white and I've done an okay job it's not brilliant and actually what I'm now doing now that I've got all these paintings back is I'm actually painting the whole of the frame grey. You may have just seen the camera move a little bit then because it fell off the shelf. There you go I said it'd be open last. You can now get these in grey from the manufacturers um, and I'm going to paint all of these that are in that beading as such um, grey. Now I have previously, um, you just see in the back there, I've got some um, slip moulding which I've mitered and done um, the larger pieces I am putting those in. Um, so yeah, I've got these and um, I put them in and I'll take them out and put a label on the back. And they're good, they are good. Um, and I like the look of the grey frames. This is that I spent an awful lot of time framing and that obviously is time that I don't get paid for. Painting of that size actually sells for about £225 and I get that frame for this is about just under £30. Obviously there's my time for um, prepping it all. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of hard work so I was pretty disappointed to be honest. Of them um, paintings didn't sell but now I've got another 29 paintings in stock which I shall um, I should put online and there will be a link at some point on my website to that 
yeah, disappointing. But I've sold work in between that um, privately. received in the recyclable packaging some new brushes from Jackson's Art and I've been using uh, Da Vinci brushes particularly their Casaneo oh. I've got a while now and um, I need to get some more I really like these um, they are I believe a Synthetic squirrel hair, and I'm just going to look them up. I've been using these, I've got a number six and a number ten. I've been using them for quite a while. And there is a link in the description for Jackson's Art. I am an affiliate of theirs, so if you click on the link and buy anything through the link, then I will get a little bit of a kickback, and that helps me to make these videos. So I have just bought a number 20, number 8, the right way around so you can see it, round number 4 and a number 2. So now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 20. So that's a good range of brushes now. So these are made from synthetic Kazan squirrel hair and are springy with great paint holding capacity. There we are. So yeah, click on the link in the description if you'd like to have a look at those. I highly recommend them. I'm really, really good. So I'm just going to try out my new brushes. for um, doing skies like that. All right, let's try the number eight. That holds a lot of paint as well. Very nice. It's got a nice point on it. nice thin line and yet at the same time if I load it up that carries a good amount of paint as well excellent let's get another piece of paper for this Yeah, 
these are very good. Fuck in this guy. Not bad at all for a small small brush. Yeah, they get a bit more water in that. That's fantastic. Excellent. And then very small number two. Oh, excellent. That gives me very thin lines. Nice, it would be interesting to see how well they hold up after a few months of, of use. Yeah, impressed with those. Like I said at the start, I don't know whether this will um, turn into a long series or if this might just be the one and only video. But if you did like it, then um, yeah, comment below like and subscribe to the channel and I shall try and put out a video a week my diary of an artist and um, yeah thanks for joining me if there's anything you want me to talk about or discuss about being an artist then pop a question in the comments below and I'll try and incorporate it into the next video if I see it before I record and until next time be creative and um, I shall see you again